happy, excited winners of the Houston Post baby pageant and tournament arrive in the city of their dreams, the land of the movies, the glamorous screen personalities. Everyone is excited and happy. This is to be the day of days for the children and their mothers. Lucille Wilkins, editor of the Houston Junior Post and chief nurse of the Santa Fe Railroad, Delma Frazier, helped with the debarking of their charges. A great and comfortable bus awaits them to transport them to the Ambassador Hotel. They pass beautiful Westlake Park on their way. The arrival at the Ambassador, one of the most famous hotels in all the world, justly celebrated for the beauty of its grounds and the magnificence and comfort of its appointments. But there is a busy day ahead, and here we are at the Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer studio, the new Irving Thalberg administration building. the famous gate, the one the movie hopefuls are always trying to crash. We're checked in. And here come Charlie Grapeman and our own Don Castle, the Houston boy who has made good in motion pictures. And soon you will see him in Young Dr. Kildare and out west with the Hardys. Charlie and Don give a friendly welcome to our visitors. But let's have lunch. Even excited contest winners must eat, and in the dining room of the stars. Mmm, chicken. Not bad, this food of the movie stars. Oh ho, a Hollywood romance is starting. Let's take the studio's own streetcar for the tour of the greatest of all movie studios, Metro Golden Mare. Behind the scenes in movie land. A great skating rink has been built on stage 15, and we see the internationally famous Ice Follies in rehearsal. Joan Crawford is to star in this picture. Here's the Wizard of Oz set. And who is this? Ray Bolger, who will play the straw man. Bert Lahr, who is to be the cowardly lion. And Buddy Ebsen, the tin man. And do these comedians love kids? Wonder who had a better time, the youngsters or the actors? Here's something for this young lady to remember. Not yet five, and she danced with Buddy. And so we bid goodbye to Metro Golden Mare with the memory of a happy visit and the generous invitation to come again.